friends and gentle folk, welcome to a, let me help you understand how to do things today with the EvTech Trio. I've got it hooked up to the test bench. I'm going to show you how easy it actually is to get the RGB pass through to work. Alrighty, so basically for those of you who might be a bit confused, a couple of the users have asked us about connecting this Trio cases RGB to the motherboard's RGB effectively. By a couple, I mean like hundreds, literally hundreds, and the tech center and everything has been inundated with requests on this because there's actually no instruction set inside the packaging. Naughty manufacturer, slap the back of your hand. But luckily, EvTech is a guy that makes content for them. So now I can show you exactly how to connect it. And it's actually stupidly easy, all right? So on the remote, you can see with the remote functioning, as I press the buttons, then it functions. And if you hit the auto, then it'll go into like a default sort of mode that will then cycle, you can then cycle through a couple of things. And you can still fully control the lighting kit, et cetera, from the actual uh, remote control. But if you want to then connect it to the motherboard, you have to disable that control. So as you can see, it's on purple, and as you can see, the test bench and all the LEDs are on an RGB. I do have three of them connected in total with the kit being daisy chained into one RGB header. Then the actual light that you see is just on a standard RGB header that's not addressable. And then this is connected on an addressable line. It's very important. Your motherboard has to have an addressable header in order to use it. A standard RGB connector will not work. All you have to do now to get it to then sync with the motherboard is hold in the reset button, which should be connected by default into its switches port. If I hold it in for a few seconds, you'll see it flashes and then it changes mode. Now it's connected with the motherboard in the RGB mode. I can then go into my Mystic Light, which I have open here, and I can, for instance, go to Flame as an example, which I've set to blue and green. And then after a few seconds, it'll update and then hold that profile. And then because it's addressable, which is cool, I can select it from the drop down and just do that JRGB. Um, but let me just, as an example, just give you another color wave, for instance, as a, as a setting. So you can see them all changing simultaneously and that it is then functioning and working with the rest of the motherboard and RGB and stuff. So. It's literally that simple. I couldn't believe it myself. It used to be connected here on the remote. There is a little MB button on the top left of the EvTech remotes, which used to activate it, but now they moved it to that position. And like I say, it's literally just holding the button. And then if you want to return to the remote control, you just hold in again, and then it'll take you back to that profile. It's literally as easy as that. And that, my Lipshins, is your first Turbo Tortoise Tech tutorial. I'll be doing more of this as you guys have questions and stuff about things. If you do see it on social media or on the YouTube channel, then just ask us in the comments below and then the guys at EvTech, the marketing team, will feed that back to me. And then I'll be able to make you videos like this to show you how quick and easy you could actually solve your problems. Until next time, hope you guys stay safe, keep well, and I will see you on the flip side.